Fukuyama's uh, vision was the closest to traditional mainstream American thinking about what was logical as the way of organizing society and the way the world was naturally headed uh, once it could get over the rough spots. Um, but Fukuyama also went beyond uh, some of the more common celebration of economic globalization, uh, the sort of arguments of pundits like Thomas Friedman. I think Fukuyama's argument was deeper uh, and in a way that uh, would ultimately, uh, I think, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but make him stand back a bit from his original argument or optimism uh, and to make uh, his forecasts at least potentially more compatible with Mearsheimers and Huntington's, even though uh, in most respects they seemed uh, quite opposed to each other. Uh, Fukuyama de-emphasized mainstream liberalism's focus on economic factors, materialism, uh, and political justice when uh, Fukuyama stressed what he called the struggle for recognition, uh, the spiritual quest for human dignity and equality, uh, and sometimes superiority. Uh, which might point in different directions from the economic trends. Uh, also, I think it's important to realize that Fukuyama was not as naive as many of his critics assumed. All of these authors provoked strong reactions in part because their arguments were publicized in initial short articles before being fully developed and refined in the longer books that I reviewed, uh, and uh, therefore some of the reactions uh, jumped uh, to conclusions. But Fukuyama is not arguing that history had completely ended, that there would be no change of any sort. Um, and he realized that much of the world was not subject to this development, the so-called third world, which he said was still stuck in history. But his main point was that there was no longer any competitor to Western liberalism as a world-spanning ideology and vision for organizing society. Uh, and the image he used was, uh, the image of a wagon train, uh, and a, a wagon train that was strung out in which some wagons would get stopped temporarily or others would get diverted uh, or damaged, but they'd eventually wind up at the same destination uh, with no more fundamental disagreements about how society should be organized. There wouldn't be anything significant to fight about. Uh, and like most red-blooded Americans, Fukuyama uh, had a fair amount of disdain for uh, what academics call the realist theory of international relations uh, that sees history not as a story of progress, but as a cycle of conflict. Um, and realism uh, is often persuasive in periods of conflict, as during the Cold War. Uh, but when peace seems to break out, most Americans find it an alien idea. Uh, and after the Cold War, most assumed it was more or less passe. And Fukuyama wrote, treating a disease that no longer exists, realists now find themselves proposing costly and dangerous cures to healthy patients. Mm -hmm. 